Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about type inference within TypeScript. So basically type inference is when TypeScript will guess what data type you are trying to use. And this counts for constants, variable, function return values, that sort of stuff. So basically this means you can actually define or use values without specifying what type it is. So for example, Let's define a new variable here called n equal to the value of 10. Now within regular JavaScript, this looks quite normal and n can be any type. But in TypeScript, if you don't actually specify what type it is, it's going to guess what type you actually mean. So it sees this number here and it says, okay, this must be a number. Therefore, it will actually assign the variable the number type as you can see right there. So if I try and change this right here, if I want to say n equals and now put a string inside here, Dominic for example, that's not going to work. It says sorry you can't do that because it's actually a number. But we obviously didn't specify this. And that's what's called type inference. Now I can make this a number, for example 25. That's fine. This is a number. Alright? Now it's also going to work with function return values. So for example, let's define a new function up here. All right, let's just say, let's just call it get number. All right, this function will simply return the number 75. Okay, I haven't specified what type this function returns, but TypeScript is going to guess. So let's define a new variable down here, once again called n equal to get number. And now we can see that n is actually of type number. So it works here as well. Now, what happens if uh, you don't actually have this function within your TypeScript code? For example, if we get rid of that function right there and just go back up here and set just say elements equal to, and then use the document.getElementById method. Let's just put an ID in here, for example, ID. All right. This still works. So TypeScript has this background knowledge of the API and the document object model, that sort of thing, and it'll actually know um, what type that a lot of these methods and functions will actually return. So that's useful to know. Now, if you want to actually use a variable without the concept of type inference, you need to set the data type for that variable as any. And with any, you can then use that variable or that constant or whatever you want to use like a regular JavaScript variable. So let's say let n of type any equal to the value of 65. So now here, this is basically working like a regular JavaScript variable. So now I can actually say n equals Dominic and that is now perfectly fine. Once again, if I get rid of this any, we get an error. All right, and that is the concept of type inference within TypeScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.